What's up, YouTube? Jason Ritchie here with another harmonica lesson. We got a C harmonica today, and we're going to learn how to warble. What's the warble? I don't know. That's a lot of guys call it a war warble. Warble. <laughs> I call it a trill. We're going to learn the trill. It's probably the most overused harmonica technique that there is, and probably the reason that I haven't taught it. Now, my man Taro Hood, Andre from the Ukraine, on Patreon, is the one who suggested this lesson. And you know, I think you're right, buddy. For the life of me, I don't remember ever making a video on this subject. Now, I'm here in Memphis. <laughs> Home of Memphis Charlie, right? With Charlie Musselwhite. And, you know, the first time I really heard trills going out of control was with Charlie. But it was definitely little Walter had him going on way before that. And, and everybody else, too. But I'm here in Memphis. We just got done, uh, me and Caitlin, at the uh, Blues Music Awards. I didn't win this year, but you can't win every year. I won last year. And this year, my boy John Namath won. And I'm so grateful that he won. And I got to spend some wonderful time with good friends of mine. And it was great. Dennis Grunling was here. He's a wonderful, charming individual. And definitely go check out Je Dennis's stuff, too. Also, Billy Branch, my boy Billy. My wife was really disappointed that we didn't get Billy to come in here and do a video like that. Who knows? Maybe later tonight, after a few cognacs, Billy will come knocking on the door. All right, without further ado, here's the trill. By the way, the well, little further ado, subscribe today, like the button, leave a comment, do everything you can to keep these videos rocking. Don't forget to join me over on Patreon for lots more content. We just had the part two uncensored Larry Bell go up there and the 50th vlog, 50th vlog. But Andre Tarot Hood, this is a wonderful subject because it does it means I don't have to tab today. <laughs> I don't have to tab. There's no tab with trills, no tabbing with trills, right? So what is a trill or a warble? Okay. It's when you alternate between two notes and you do it consistently. So most people, when they're first starting out, they move the harp like this. <laughs> Now, there's nothing really wrong with that, but I think there kind of is, actually. Now, let me say this, though. It has its own sound, okay? And um, you can get it a little crazier than the other one, right? So the, the one I'm about to show you, spend the majority of the video on, is the head trill. that one but but this but the one the first one that everyone likes to do when they're starting out is this one and the, and, and you can get really crazy with it like like that right and you know I've I've seen Cotton do it and Junior Wells do it too so but Cotton does the head trill too he does both right he does both but anyway the the reason that I'm not a big fan of that one is I think it's harder to speed up and slow down. It, it, I think it's a little harder, but also you have to take your hand, you have to you have to take your hand off of the microphone. So if you're holding the microphone, I got a plastic fork here. If you're holding the microphone like this, you'd have to go, and that's going to change the tone to a more trebly kind of sound. So I like it better where you can just. And if you want the trouble, you just take your hand off. Okay, so the first one that I'm doing is on holes four and five. Now, you can go, you can bend it as you're hearing me doing. And you can go right down to the blow chromatically, actually, on that one. You could even go right down chromatically even more to the three and four trill.
Now it's gonna take a little while. If you're trying this right now and you're doing something like this, it's gonna take a little while to get your head used to doing that motion, that back and forth motion. So just start slow. Now that one on three and four, you can also bend. That's up to five and four. And then you got also, you can, you can replicate the three and four trill up here. cool right so the, the thing that I would like to stress to you guys the most is is please be use it sparingly right <laughs> the temptation is once you get it sort of like vibrato <laughs> that you're gonna overdo it right you might even overdo it for four or five years well it's kind of okay to do that because you got to get it in you in you but then like I'm, I'm probably to the place now where I should probably be doing more trills, right? But I just forget about them. Now, for some reason or another, it doesn't really sound too great on the bottom, on the bottom of the harp. It just doesn't really have that same vibe. It, I mean, it, for one thing, they're fifths. It's a it's a one draw and a two draw. So in second position, that would be a, f a fifth in a, in a root. So they're kind of far away from each other. But I don't know. It just doesn't have that same vibe to it. But right around three and four. You hear that one right there. Now, that I'm playing in cross art, but one of the things you hear is uh, Cotton and Lou Walter and all those guys using that same lick that I just did in third position, but on the floor. Court. Just about anywhere. Now, there we go. Now, now you can also do it with the tongue block. So I'm just splitting two and two and five with and blocking holes three and four, and then I'm just trilling down to to uh, right here one and four. And I can, then I can just blow out and do the same things on blows two and five, split, blocking three and four, blow. You can go up.
For Andre Terrorhood, thank you guys so much. Anyway, yeah, didn't win tonight, but that's right. You can't win every night. Thank you guys for the nomination so much, and thank you to everybody that voted for me. I want to remind you, it is not a wasted vote. The guy that won tonight, he's a good friend of mine, and um, your vote, your votes helped fund the Heart Fund, which is what helped give him money for the cancer that was killing him and was growing in his jaw. And if it wasn't for the money that you guys spent, you know, the 25 bucks you spent to vote for me, you wouldn't have been able to help a person like that, right? And it's not just for people that are sick or, or having problems. Uh, the, the Blues Foundation does a lot to help a lot of people. And we're really privileged to be a part of it tonight and have a beautiful night here with my wife, Kate. And, and uh, I just want to say congratulations to John Namath. And uh, it was an honor running against uh, you and, and Dennis Grinling and Bob Kortor and, uh, and, our, and, our, and our influence of all of ours, Mr. Billy Branch. All right. I hope you guys enjoyed trills, right? Don't overuse them. <laughs> you can see I'm a little rusty with them because I'm so scared of overusing them. So anyway, they can be a lot of fun. The audience loves them. Grandmas love them. Dogs love them. Vest there doesn't like them, though. He went running away. But we appreciate you guys. Thank you so much. Remember to check out my sponsors, Lone Wolf Blues Company, Blue Moon Harmonicas, my man Tom Halchek, who worked on this one. Of course, Honer Harmonicas is all Tom Halchek works on for Jace Ritchie. Thank you, Tom, and thank you, Honer Harmonicas. Pedal Bad, Pedal Boards, thank you very much. Did I mention the Lone Wolf Blues Society? I did. Okay. Thank you so much, Harp Gear, Ampl Harp Gear Amplifiers. That's who I was forgetting. Thanks, everybody. Subscribe today. Tune in for lots more over what we're, we're well over 500. We're probably in 600. 600 or so free harmonica lessons or free harmonica content, product reviews, and everything else. I got two giant boxes from Honor I'm going to open for you when I get home. See you guys later. Thank you very much. Bye.